Good afternoon all you YouTubers and a big fat warm welcome to all my crafty friends. Before I get started I would like to say a massive massive thank you to all my new subbies. Thanks for coming over, thanks for joining and I really do hope you enjoy my videos and I will catch up at some point and try to watch a few of everybody's. Um, but I don't, I don't know if any of you have seen a um, video that i done, um, I don't know if it was last week, week before, um, a floral muse journal that I created. In that video, um, I'm not sure if I actually said it in the video, excuse me, my phone's ringing, let's just get rid of that. In that video, um, or if it isn't in the comments underneath, um, I did state that I fell in love with the papers. Now, how you cannot love Floral Muse, I do not know. That is the Floral Muse. Wow, stunning, beautiful. I love it. Fell in love with it, bought the whole packs, bought every size of paper and all the stamps, accessories that go with it. Um, and I did say that I would like to make a photo album with it. So I did. Um, it has taken me a couple of weeks to do this, obviously, um, because I only have a few spare hours in between working and, you know, housework, new grandchild, etc. Um, so I just wanted to come on quickly and share it with you this morning. This is the album, the photo album. So as you can see, it's... Uh, there is six pages in total. It is a six by eight album and the spine is four inches. So it's quite large. Um, obviously not as large as, uh, I don't know if any of you see my Christmas photo album I made that was absolutely massive. Um, so this one didn't take quite as long to do. Um, the Christmas one I'd done, I think, was twice the size of this and had twice as many pages in, so. Um, but the outside, um, apart from this front, I just tried to keep quite simple. Um, because the papers are beautiful, I didn't want to decorate the outside too much and do too much fancy stuff with it. Um, so on the back, as you can see, I've just put this flowery paper and then the border and the paper that's wrapped around the back. And I've just put my own little stamp on the back there. On the side here, I've put a resin frame on there. And uh, that says, live life to the full. Now I've tried to keep this on um, like a neutral kind of friends type photo album. Um, you know you can use it for family and stuff but if you have friends close friends and things i thought what a lovely idea to keep memories of you know you and all your friends in um and then on the front here let me see if i can just bring this camera in a little bit so there we go and on the front here as you can see i used the flowery paper on there and then done this martha stewart punch down there with the paper that wraps around. And then I used the seam binding um, to go all the way. I will actually tell you the truth, I did make a mistake. I got so carried away in decorating that I forgot to make a closure for the journal. So yes, this is a learning curve, guys. We do all make mistakes, we get carried away doing things, and then we have to correct it after. So I did punch a hole through the spine, tied a little knot on the inside, and then brought the seam binding around the front and the back to make the closure. But I quite like it. I think it looks pretty. Um, I have used a chunky resin frame on the front there. Um, and the saying in it that says, thank you for being such a dear friend. So uh, if you can see that without the camera going too blurry. Then on the edge here I've used um, a rose in there and then some little lilies on the side there and some little rose buds there. I've arranged these leaves around them 
and put a couple of flat back resin pieces in there just for a bit of detail. So that's the front. And then obviously just tied this in a bow. So if I can undo that and I will show you. So this is the first page on the inside here. All I've done on the inside is created a deep pocket and put um, some used um, some dies to create a pattern across the top of the page there and there is a large ticket in there dream journey explore which I've just left plain on the back so it can be used for journaling and two photo mats in there like so and there is the trying to get everything back in whilst holding it and on camera so it's all back to front there is three different size tags in this pocket here there's that one and I've just used little stamps and things to decorate over the top of them that was actually in the um, collection that one and they can all be wrote on and then this here is a tiny little um, book that you just write in or put a couple of little pictures in there that just slips in there with them like so and then that one just pops back in there these pockets are quite large and can be used for putting more um, photo maxing I suppose and then on this side um, I'm trying to hold this the best way I can so it's easy for you guys to see as well um, on this side here um, there's a pocket here um, I've just used my ball to punch on there again put some paper up this side of it I've left a little ribbon here underneath this flower um, that's so it can open out it's actually a flap in the pocket there there is another three tags in there with little stamps and things on like so you can just pop in there and then this pulls out like that it has got a magnet on it and there is another three tags in this side there is an array of flowers and bits and pieces up this side of this pocket there's two photo mats inside this pocket I'm not going to pull out all the photo mats you can see what's there and then obviously I've just made one of my large pretty tags to go in that pocket which can be wrote on the back and that says remember that something incredibly wonderful is always possible so I thought all these little sayings were really sweet for this type of friendship album so that's that and then on this page you can probably see I will slide these out so you can actually see what I have done here I created two pockets again a large pocket at the back there with this die cut on there and then a smaller pocket in front with the die cut on the top there as well and then I've just used two photo mats to slip inside there and I can't get it back in right I will leave them out and I'll put them back in after it's a bit awkward trying to get things in and out of pockets while you're trying to hold it up on a camera um, right on this side again I have created a deep pocket there um, there's a photo mat in the back here and there is two tags in there that says live for the life you have imagined and there's a handmade handmade with love made with love in the bottom there and then just another one there that I've done that just slip in that back pocket for writing on or whatever you may wish and then I use the die again across the bottom here and just put two 
tiny little tags in the bottom there and that is one of the stickers from the collection it just says just for you and that just creates a tiny little tuck spot there see what I mean if I can get them in and out uh, that's on there I'll put that in after doesn't want to go in properly and on this side here this is um, a flip out page opens out either side um, and it's just got a little swivel key that I put on the front there I've actually put magnets on there as well um, and that says live fully relax daily we have a couple of tags and a flower arrangement on there with the butterflies and then if you move that round then these actually open out like so and I created a belly band across the middle there with some lace and some gorgeous pearls on there I'm not too sure if you can see that properly like that and I've just put the photo mats in behind the belly band and then created a little pocket with a little tag in each side there so you can write on there about what photos there is in there this here um, is just a template for the photo so it can be cut round for the next page they close up like that onto the magnets and that just swivels around to there okay and then this is the next page I've just left this quite plain and simple um, that says thank you for being such a dear friend the same as the one in the frame on the front but that's a lovely little picture frame there and then obviously the template that's in the pocket this side is for cutting your picture to place on there and I just put the uh, the leaves and the flowers around the bottom on that page uh, on the next page here there is another couple of deep pockets deep one at the back there that has two photo mats in there and then just use the butterflies to cut to go across the pocket there is another little photo mat in the bottom there and over this side this is actually a flip out page um, so I created a little pocket to go across the bottom here with the die across and that just holds another tag in there this is just for you that's the stamp that's in the collection I left that plain on the back and then there's just the die across the top that creates this little pocket here and then there's there's there is enough room to put a photo on there and then place the die across the top there as well and then that folds down that way there's two little tags in there a tiny little pocket on there and then you can place a photo on there as well and then that folds up that way too like so okay and then there's two large places there to be able to put photos in and then that just slides back in there like so and then over on the next page we have another side flip on this page there's a pocket on the front here of this flip um, with another little sentiment on there there's something um, remember that something incredibly wonderful is always possible and then I just created a couple of little tags to go in that pocket there and then that folds out that way so you can place a couple of photos on there or one long one there's another large pocket here and I've just cut round a couple of the postcards that were actually on the paper to create that little pocket at the front there and just put a couple of little tags in there use the die again to create the big pocket behind and put another two photo mats in there and then that says thinking of you across the bottom I can see that there and again that just folds over that way like so 
and then on this page here we have um, like a double flap um, it's has got a magnet on it um, I didn't want a belly band I just wanted something a little bit different so I created the two flaps and then put a magnet on them um, and that sentiment there says remember life's treasures are people not things so that's a lovely little saying there and then that flaps out that way and that comes out that way so this flap here is actually big enough to put a photo on that side and on that side if needed and then I just use the Martha Stewart punch at the bottom there just to create a little tuck spot to hold these two photo mats in yeah. on the next page this is another little flap out bit um, I've put two sentiments across here that says La laugh heartedly and love completely so and then just decorated the front of them obviously with the flowers the leaves the little flat back pearls and these are actually two little pockets that have got tags in either one of those like so that's the little tags that I made and then that folds out that way and it's just left plain on the inside there so you could place one large photo there and a slightly smaller one on that side and then you've got your two tags in your pockets on the front there to write about your photos on this page here um, that says enjoy the journey again this is two large pockets and just use the die cut to go across the top there and there is two photo mats in there and a slightly smaller one in the bottom or you can use the smaller one as a journal card or whatever so that was that page and then a final page here this is just a matte booklet that I have used to stick in this back page here and put a ribbon round so that just undoes like that and then that folds out so you can put another two large pictures in there and a large picture on the front and then obviously that just does up with the ribbon and then on this very back page on the inside here is our waterfall page so all I've done was created the magnetic band to go across to hold them all still um, I put this beautiful stamp across the front here live love and enjoy life always um, and then that's got a beautiful array of butterflies and flowers on there if you can see that which I absolutely adore I think that came out really pretty um, and then that just lifts up that way and then that folds down that way and then as you can see you just have your waterfall here with all the different papers on that are in the collection like so so more places there to put your photos so there's definitely enough space in this album to put plenty of photos um, and obviously the pockets will hold a lot more pictures as well so I'm tying this bow upside down now aren't I there we go that just ties up like so and it's upside down okay so you have all your space for pictures on there you've got three large ones there you've got more pocket space there you've got more space for pictures in there there's just space absolutely everywhere and if there wasn't enough space then put more tags in okay so that is the journal um, journal I've got journal on the brain now that is my photo album I hope you like it um, I've done the best I could with the time that I had um, I love it I love the pictures 
the papers they're absolutely beautiful they're so so stunning and yeah I think it would make a beautiful gift for anybody so um, yeah I think anybody could pop memories in this and treasure it for a lifetime so uh, I will place all my photo mats and bits back in there um, and we will get that tied back up in a moment uh, I'll just show you once again the front and you can see that beautiful little photo album this will actually be for sale on my Etsy so I will leave a link down below if anyone should be interested so but that's it for now guys um, thanks ever so much for joining me um, I really do appreciate you coming across you know spending your time and effort with me and sticking by me watching you know all my videos talking a load of rubbish um etc etc um but yeah thanks guys you being here really does mean the world to me um and i've just lost another one there it is um and i will speak to you all again very soon so thanks guys see you soon bye bye